We're going to uh, use this next couple of drills to demonstrate another place where we can get forward movement in the backstroke, and that's on the entry. So from the recovery to the entry, we've got a lot of choices. Through the recovery, if we want to lay our arm into the water softly, then that's, that's fine. But if we're really using our rotational uh, abilities, the, 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 the potential that we've created by stretching our muscles from the hips to the shoulder, if, we're, if we really want to use that to the maximum effect on the pull, then that has to be an explosive movement. If we want to connect that to the recovery, then we're going to generate some momentum with that, that leading arm that we can direct wherever we want to. And if we send that momentum down the pool, then that's some additional distance that we can get on every stroke. Okay? So we're going to have Kelsey use uh, 12 kicks per stroke right now with a really explosive pull and entry to show us how we can get even more distance out of this one connected rotation. And so she's going to be pulling on one arm and recovering on the other. And some of this force, some of this um, speed that we get is going to be coming from the momentum she generates um, on the recovery and into the catch. Most of it is coming from using her forearm to create power into the next stroke, but I don't want to discount um, the, the, the potential that we have in moving our arm into a catch position for creating some forward movement. So let's demonstrate that. So she's loading up on one side and then launching into the next stroke. That's excellent. And we can see, like, once she lands in that position, she's creating a body position that allows her to accept that momentum and, and surge down the pool. It's really good. Let's try that again. And this time, I want you to even accelerate your kick more when you land. Instead of stopping it, so we're going to accelerate your kick in order to help keep your hips really stable. So on the landing point of that particular drill, Kelsey is riding the, the force that she's gotten from the pull, and she's also riding the momentum that she's, got from, that she's created from placing her arm into the water in the ideal catch position. You can see she gets down the pool in very few strokes. It's a really efficient way to move. Now we're going to take that into full stroke swimming. We want Kelsey to exaggerate on every third stroke. On every third stroke, she's going to exaggerate lunging and, and thro essentially throwing that stroke down the pool, throwing the recovery down the pool, and then learning how to balance her body behind it so that she'll get another big surge out of that entry. And you can see right... Right as she starts the pull on the opposite side, she connects the recovery to the rotation of her body and just launches herself. That's really good.